Jojo here with another Wi-Fi battle. We got a battle here with Jake. Uh, I think that's just his name on Twitter. But, uh, yeah, I kind of suck at the OU thing. But uh, I made a lot of bad plays in this battle. But uh, it was still kind of fun. You know, don't do OU much. But, yeah, here we go. Yeah, he's going to send out, though, his... Uh, oh, I'm going to send out my earmuffs, which is my Diggers B. Got to love my earmuffs in this guy. And he's going to send out his Infernape, which... I kind of think lead Infernapes, you know, usually go for fake out or something. So I go for the U-turn, predicting that he'll, you know, try to either fake out or stealth rock. So I'm like, you know what, maybe I can try to get some uh, good coverage going on. Because usually they're physical, even if they are special, it really don't matter. So I went to my Vaporeon, and he's going to go for the Brick Break, actually, to go for it. Go, go ahead and go for the kill. But he unfortunately mispredicts that, and I switch out to my Vape this thing. It's actually my E-Sig, so I think it's cherry flavored, so yeah, you know. But he's going to go into his Metagross, and, uh... Shiny, I'm guessing that's the one you get from the event. But I go for Ice Beam, predicting he'd go to this, uh, the, uh, what's that thing called? Whimsicott. But no, nah, he does not. He goes to Metagross. It was kind of a misprediction for me. So, yeah. He goes for the Zen Headbutt, though, and it, uh, I'm guessing it's not going to Mega Evolve. So, yeah. And it flinches me, and I'm like, damn it, you son of a bitch. Screw you, Metagross. I'm trying to kill you, and you're not letting me do it. What's going on? But he gets his other Zen Headbutt off, and it does a good amount of damage. But I go for Scald, and I actually, uh, don't get the burn damage, which I was what I was hoping for, but it's all good. I'm actually just going to chill with his Vaporeon, figuring this thing can't do a whole lot. But he misses again, and I go for Wish. And I actually kind of wish he did hit me with Zen Headbutt, because I then would have probably lived that. So, like, no, but instead he goes for Explosion. Does Was not, honestly was not predicting that. I was actually predicting, like, a switch out or something. I really was not predicting explosion, but whatever. I didn't really think I needed this thing. The Vaporeon, I, I got other pokes that could probably take care of him, so I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, he actually goes to his Whimsicott now, Fontaine. I don't know how you say that. And I go back to my earmuffs. Man, I love this guy. He just looks like someone I'd hug for about 20 minutes. But I go for knockoff, and I'm actually scarfing this thing, so that's why I'm faster. And he knocks his scarf off, and he uses Stun Spore. And I was kind of thinking, why would he go for Stun Spore when he had a choice scarf? But, it's okay, uh, he does get the Paralyze though, and I'm like, damn it, this thing is Scarf, nope, it's kind of useless, so I go to Jirachi, and he goes for Protect, and I, I really don't know why I did that, but, uh, he goes to Salamence, and gets the Intimidate, which kind of sucks, because this thing actually is a physical attacker, but I still go for the Meteor Mash anyway, and it actually does about quarters, so, uh, didn't get that attack boost to Serain Grace, kind of bummed about that, he goes for Earthquake, and it actually does over half, and I go for the Wish, this thing doesn't have Protect, but I'm thinking maybe uh, I can live this, but I kind of thought for a minute, I was like, you know what, Jirachi probably can't live another Earthquake, and he's probably going to go for another one, so I actually decided to go back to my uh, my earmuffs and decide to make him kind of uh, bait, basically. Just, you know, I, I kind of just want this thing to get out of the way, because I'm kind of, there's not really a whole lot I can do to the Salamence, like, it's, I didn't really, this team's kind of poorly made, I made, I just kind of threw some OUs together, but uh, he actually switches out to his Rotom Wash, and, uh, I go for the return, it does a really good amount of damage, I'm guessing that thing is not defensive at all, so, he goes for the Hydro Pump and it actually kills me, which, <laughs> I'm like, you guys are probably like, why the hell did he stay in? I could've went to Chansey and could've lived it, I'm sorry guys, got off work, I'm a little rusty, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I go for the Mock Punch, finishes Rotom off, and, uh, yeah, he's gonna freaking die, so, that's good, and then Infernape's gonna come out, and I'm trying to think, this thing can easily kill me, I probably, uh, could have stayed in, but uh, it's okay. He actually switches out to his Salamence to get the Intimidate off. But that does not matter because I switch out too. So he actually did a poor play there. And I go to my Raikou, so the Intimidate did not matter. And he's actually caught. But this thing has Hidden Power, but uh, I couldn't remember if it was Grass or Ice. So I decided to go for the Volt Switch instead to play it safe. And uh, yeah, I, could, I should have probably did a little better on that. But uh, I go to my Chansey knowing I could probably live an Earthquake. Because this thing has Eevee Light, I'm thinking really hard. And it actually lives significantly, dude. Like, the thing took damage. He goes for the Steel Wing, though. I think he gets it was Fairy-type. I don't know. But uh, I actually go for the Stealth Rocks to get some damage up. And he goes for Dragon Claw, and it does a fair amount of damage. But it does not enough to kill me. So I go for the Seismic Toss and finish this Dragon off. So Joy actually did its job out there. And yeah, that's why you don't miss the Chansey. It's, it's going to fuck you up, you know? So he goes for Infernape, and... Uh, I definitely am not going to stay in on this guy, so I'm going to switch out and go back to my uh, Raikou, and Raikou's easily going to be able to take, well, he won't easily take this, but I'm thinking, there's really nothing that can take this Infernape, because this thing's probably got, like, yeah, like I said, Flare Blitz, so he actually eats it, but he lives, so I'm like, oh my god, Raikou, thank you so much, this helped a lot, so 
Yeah, I was like, well, I was hoping he didn't have Mach Punch, but he didn't, so he actually died. But he had Brick Break, so I'm guessing, you know, Mach Punch wasn't necessary. But uh, he goes for the Diancy. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Diancy. I I'm not going to lie, I'm not trying to be a noob, but there are some Pokemon I just have no freaking clue about. But he actually Mega Evolves, and I'm like, well, I know this thing's Rock and Fairy, so I know Jirachi is going to be a threat to this thing. So I go for the Volt Switch and get it to half health, and I switch out to, to my uh, back to my Jirachi. And Jirachi's only got half health, but I'm like, you know what, Moonblast ain't gonna do a damn thing to my Jirachi, my Terriermon, so, yeah, I'm gonna eat that up really well. And I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, you know, Diancy is rockin' fairy, I'm actually gonna go for a Wish, though, so I can live longer with this guy. But I probably could've went for the Meteor Mash and did a really good amount of damage. That's because he's already got half health, so... He actually, I actually go for the Meteor Mash and miss also, and his Diamond Storm missed too, so he actually goes for the Diamond Storm. It's actually a Rock-type move. Don't really quite know why he used it on my Jirachi. I'm thinking it didn't really have anything else to use, honestly, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I got back more health now. I'm sure enough to kill this thing, and he actually switches back to his uh, Whimsicott, and Whimsicott's Fairy-type now, so he's bad against Steel. Uh, now instead of, so he, he's got even more weaknesses than he did which kind of sucks for Whimsicott but I think it's fast like a jump lift times two almost but I actually like jump lift better but whatever I actually knock out his little cotton ball there and then uh he uh he's gonna switch out to his um uh, back to his Diancy and it's pretty much a good game now but like the, I've never really used Mega Diancy I don't even know its stats I know it's above 100 all of them so I don't know it's it's pretty good Pokemon I suppose I've never really used it and, you know, in competitive play, but whatever. But yeah, that is the game right there, and I beat him. So yeah, good job, Jake. Thanks for battling me. It was fun. Uh, don't really play OU much, but you know, I, I guess it's I guess it's fun to do every now and then. Got to get an in you, buddy. Got to you. Got to start doing in you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'm gonna be out of here. And yeah, check my other stuff out, my Nuzlocke challenge too. Thank you guys, and peace out. See you.